Hi, welcome back to the second uh, layout or second video in this layout series for Studio Calico in July. And this time I'm working with what I have left from the main kit plus the first add-on. So this is Capture the Flag. And I'm just going to start adding to my stack. So I've got more lettering and all these papers and then of course plenty of fun embellishments to mix with the main kit too so I've got buttons and stamps little tabs pins and tags and tags and envelopes and all goodies there so I'm gonna pull out some pictures and get started on this layout using the main kit plus add-on one that's capture the flag to make a start on this page I'm going to be using the lawn fawn craft uh, chevron print that was in the main kit and then I'm going to use at least three of the pattern papers in the add-on so these three October afternoon two of them are nine to five and one is cakewalk and and um, so I want those three colors together on the craft and I have two four by six landscape photos which I'm going to use as one six by twelve strip or four by twelve strip I mean and that's um, pretty much where I'm starting with this but I want to do a little bit of misting on the background first so I'm just trying to work out where um, things will be so that I get the mist in the right place I've put the tags in the little glassine bags and I'm thinking that they will hold my journaling below the photos so I want to make sure that I'm gonna have enough room so that they can sit there and come just to the edge of the photo so this is where everything's going to go. So those aren't adhered, they're just placed and I'm going to mark with a pencil where they go so that then I can do a little misting and I can get it all in the right place with a little bit of luck. I'm going to choose between three mist colors and I'm not quite sure which one's going to be best. So in between, um, those marks where I know it's going to be covered up. I'm just going to add a few drops and um, so that I can see what the colors look like. And I apologize for, for just making a huge mess with dried mist. Some of my mists I use in workshops a lot so they end up um, opened and closed even more than they would at home and I don't always realize that the bottles are quite so messy. So I'm choosing between a green, an orange, and a brown. So I have leaf green and um, sunset for the orange, and then I have an older brown that's pony, which I don't think is available anymore, but that's the only brown Mr. Huey I have. So I'm going to let these dry and um, see which color I like best for the misting. Having a look at the different shades, I think I'm going to go with the dark um, brown because I'm going to use... All those lighter colors and I like the idea of something that will anchor it with a little bit of a darker shade and I know I want to go um, at the diagonal of the photo so the photo is going to be across here there's going to be all the journaling pockets here so I want a little bit of mist to show here and a little bit up here so let's see I'm not using a mask or anything just going to spray straight onto the page like that and I think so that I don't spray all over the kit I'll just turn it around Okay, so from there, we can carry on adding everything else. I'm going to cut some strips of these three pattern papers and, and start layering those up with the photographs. Cut a variety of strips of the um, three patterns that I wanted to use and started to look at how long I would need these strips to be. So the orange is the widest strip, so it's gonna go um, on the background and I've cut it a bit too long for where I want it to go. So just line it up and let the extra go off the edge of the page and then I can trim that later. And then I want these two to go not quite, um, not quite straight, just a really small angle, nothing big and dramatic. And then I can turn the page over 
trim all those extra bits that go over the side and then just come back in to that edge. And then I want to look at what's going to go in this corner because I think I'll want to um, repeat those patterns but I'm not quite sure how because I want to use these glassine um, bags with the tags in them. So I'm thinking perhaps the best thing to do, well, okay, so my options here so that you're seeing what I'm thinking is that one option is to repeat this group with the orange, then the red, then the green on top and layer it over the top of the tags. But I have something else in mind with a bit more texture over the top of the tags. So I'm thinking maybe then the better idea is to come in with a, make this a much narrower strip and add a small border that goes all the way across the 12 inches. Now I'm going to start here with the circle border stamp, but I don't want my circles to end up on top of that orange. I want it to look like it went behind, but I didn't think of it in time to do it before I put the paper down. So I'm just going to cover that orange paper with a post-it note. And then I'm using that same brown Jenny Bolin ink. And I know this um, stamp doesn't really fit on my block because I just always use the same size block, but I can fit just enough of it, so it should be okay. And then I'm going to repeat that same thing down here. Finish this little border design. I'm just taking a normal um, circle punch that's very that's that's quite a small one that will go inside there, and I'm just going to punch. A little bit of the red because I want to bring in a bit more of the red to um, to make it all match. And I'm not going to put one in every single dot, just a few of them. Maybe add some brown around the edges of those. So just add a few here and there, and then I'm going to add a little stitch over the top, and then that will be the embellishment done, and I'll come back in to finish my journaling on those tags. But I just wanted to point out, I really love the alphabet from the main kit, the little... Um, round alphabet from October afternoon with that border stamp and um, because it's a nice um, it's a nice match in terms of size and proportion so even once you're done with this kit and you um, are scrapping with other things keep that border stamp in mind for other times that you're using round letter stickers because they look quite nice together I think I'll do one more just tucked underneath there And then I'm just going to pierce a few little holes to stitch through. So just one either side of the red circles. So for each, um, each little paper circle, I'm punching four holes so that it will look like they are stitched on to the border. Here's this one all finished. So I've stitched in those little circles. I've added all my journaling to these tags. And the journaling will still be easy to get out of the page protector because there's nothing ornate on top. 
all of this detail, if I had to reach over that to get something out from the top of the page protector, it would probably come loose. So everything above here is purposely quite flat and secure. Those are stitched down, these are stuck fast, and we're all good to go. So that is my layout with the main kit and the first add-on. So I have a few more left to go, and we'll see how I get on. I will uh, see you soon. Thanks for watching. <music>